today we're learning how to do a Matthews in soccer. What's going on, little Dap? It's Jared Munn's former pro collegiate national champion and coach with OSA Soccer Camps and Online Soccer Academy. Visit OnlineSoccerAcademy.com to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos and sign up for our free weekly email. You can also register for an OSA Soccer Camp. Coaches, we have an option to host an OSA Camp exclusive for your club too. The Matthews is a classic attacking move to get past a defender. It's simple, it's effective, it's the foundation for many other attacking moves. Key points. Key point one, small push touch inside. The inside part of your dominant foot near the base of your big toe, push the ball inside a few inches. With this part of your foot, touch the ball here, not here. It's a small push touch, not a big touch. Key point two, sell the fake. After you touch inside, drop your shoulder and sell your fake. Don't be like you're selling Cracker Jacks at a ball game or something. Popcorn, get your popcorn here! But sell the fake. Don't be all upright and unathletic. Get low and put your shoulder in it. Key point three, touch outside with outside of foot. When you take your touch outside, use the outside of your foot, not your toe. Your touch should be forward at an angle, not straight forward into the defender. Beginner level players tend to turn their whole body in the direction they're running and use their toe to take the touch. Lock your ankle, point your toe up, and hit the ball with the outside of your foot to the side, going forward at an angle. Key point four, take a big touch. When you are trying to get past a defender and you have space to run into, take a big touch, not a small touch. Why, you may ask? Let me tell you three reasons. First reason to take a big touch, so you can escape a defender. If the defender sticks a leg out as you go by them, they are more likely to foul you versus getting lucky and stopping the ball if you took a little touch. Second reason, you can get your eyes up. If you take a small touch, your eyes will stay down on the ball. If you take a big touch, your eyes will be up, taking a mental photo of the field. Third reason. You can run faster. Typically, most players run faster without the ball than with the ball. Key point five, accelerate past defender. You took a big touch, now run fast past your defender. By going fast, you create that extra second or two of space before the defender can catch up with you. At the next level, that second or two is all you need to make the magic happen. Don't be all gangster-like and slow walk it past your defender. Key point six, plant your foot to side and behind. When you take your touch inside, your plant foot should be to the side and slightly behind the ball. Don't overthink this part, but your foot should be roughly here so you can push off your plant foot and be in an athletic running position. Do not step too far to the side. That puts you in an awkward, unathletic running position. Exercise to practice. For an exercise to practice on your own, you will need a ball and three cones. Before we get into the cones, practice doing Matthew's touches with your dominant foot for 30 seconds in a row. Start slow, get your rhythm, and then speed up. Rest for 15 seconds and then repeat for 30 seconds. Do this a few times. To challenge yourself, try to stay on an imaginary line with your touches. With your plant foot in line with the ball, you can't touch sideways because your foot is in the way. So you are touching the ball forward. You don't want that. Make sure your plant foot, the non-touching foot, is behind the ball so you can take your touches sideways. Your foot should be moving side to side when you take a touch. Once you've got a few 30 second reps, try a single Matthews with acceleration from a standstill. Once comfortable, get out the cones, dribble slowly to the middle cone, do your Matthews, and accelerate to the top cone. The middle cone is your defender. Light jog back and repeat five times. What's wrong? If your touch is going straight forward instead of at an angle forward, you are probably using your toe instead of the middle of the outside of your plant foot. Remember to touch the ball here with your foot, not here. Bonus tip, be confident when you do a Matthews. Don't be surprised <gasps> when it works. Expect it to work because you've been practicing. If you make a mistake, no big deal. Just get back on defense and win the ball back. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. 
Visit OnlineSoccerAcademy.com to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos and sign up for our free weekly email. You can also register for an OSA soccer camp. Coaches, we have an option to host an OSA camp exclusive for your club too. My name is Jared Muntz and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!